Welcome to another episode of Midwestern Wordsman. Today we have for you, yet again, another rod review. This one, though, is not a number 8. It's a 13. Big difference. Not really. But this is the 7-foot cranking rod. And it retails for, I think, 110 something like that. But pretty good rod for the price. And this is the first actual cranking rod that I've owned that's specifically for cranking. So we'll start off. I like that ha it has the longer handle, but most cranking rods do. Oh, busted that core. Oh well, but so it's got the longer handle for your ca cast, and then of course it's a moderate action rod, so it's going to be a little bit whippier. So it's better for the treble hook baits. But overall, I like this rod, and. I can't really like relate it to other rods like again I did the medium or the heavy action one because I've never used a cranking rod before this but it works better for my shallow divers and medium divers I used it on one of my heavier crankbaits that it wasn't three quarters of an ounce which is the weight limit on this but it was close and I would not use that a three quarter ounce even though it, this rod is rated for the three quarter ounce bait I would not use it on this this rod is too short at seven feet I'd have to use the next height up or whatever because I one I wasn't getting a super long cast and I felt like it would it just there was too much shaking in this rod tip with that bigger bill that I don't know I just really didn't like it I feel like with a crankbait like you don't feel like Oh, you're like it's not like a jig where you're dragging on the bottom or whatever but it's like I feel more confident the less the bait moves or I feel more confident if how the baits moving and it's I'm doing it like a square bill I'm popping it or whatever or stuff like that this even though I was popping like a smaller one at times those bigger ones I felt like I just didn't have as much control over it and I feel like it was because of the shorter rod but other than that, it worked fine for my lighter crankbaits, and then it casted them far enough, as I feel like, as where I thought like I lost distance with the long one. But overall, pretty good rod, especially at a price of 110 Pretty light, all that. One of my lightest rods, and this was probably one of my more favorite rods that I used over the summer which is saying something because I don't crankbait fish a lot even though it's something I tried to do more this summer I love fishing a Texas rig worm and then like the frog and stuff like that so to say that this was one of my favorite rods is saying something because I don't crankbait fish a lot if I do fish a moving bait it's normally a spinner bait because that's what I have more confidence in but since I was trying to build more confidence in crankbaits and such, I was using this rod more. I just feel like it, it was one of my more favorite rods I used. But besides that point, I hope you like this video and helps you if you're like kind of not sure if you want to buy it or not. But as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you are subscribed and you know someone who might like this video and they aren't subscribed, tell them to subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, Maybe you can hit the subscribe button below. I don't know. It may help. It may not. But otherwise, does it matter that much? Is I'm doing this just to kind of talk to someone about fishing, really. But otherwise, hit the subscribe button if you feel like it. And as always, have a great day.